Welcome back to the Finals Film Room on NBA TV. Rick Kamlick, Greg Anthony, Stu Jackson, and the czar of the Telestrator, Mike Fratello. Golden State with the rock down four mid first quarter. And Clay Thompson, a quick trigger. And he hits. Clay Thompson is a blaze. He is three for three. Kevin Durant is three for three. Don't want to say it, but it's a side <laughs> out of bounds if they yeah. score a bucket on. It's been a pet peeve of yours throughout these finals. It just gives up extra buckets in the game that you can do without. Both teams sizzling from the field, and especially the three line. Here's Kevin Love driving and drawing a foul. So there you got the Cavs. They come out, their first possession, you know, in the half court, they move the basketball. There's three, there's four passes. They get the drive at the rim, end up with the foul. That's how you control pace in the half court versus taking the quick shot or the wide open initial three. So Zaza Pachulia, two quick fouls. JaVale McGee will come in for him. GA, tell me how this changes things for the Warriors and Steve Kerr. Well, JaVale doesn't give them the same kind of rim protection in terms of his physicality. But what he does is gives them another option offensively because now the threat of the lob is there, which makes them even more difficult to guard in that half court. So if Cleveland's going to have some success in this stretch, they're going to have to make sure they stay locked on him and not allow him to get those unedited runs to the rim. Or, or I should say unaltered runs to the rim. So Kevin Love on the board, having a sensational series, coming in averaging 21 points and 14 rebounds. Had a 21 rebound game in game one, and there's a knockaway by Love. And that was an example right there. We're trying to get him at the rim where he just has such a size advantage over anybody else. LeBron's pass ultimately picked off there by Steph Curry. Klay Thompson, that's a heat check shot off to the right. Oh, what a rebound by McGee over Love. Clay not shy. Oh, he hits again. And LeBron goes down on that play as well. He and Tristan Thompson, it looks like, collided. And I think uh, Tristan's shoulder may have won that one. That's a second three-pointer for Golden State off of a second shot opportunity. So Clay Thompson is uh, erupting here. And obviously, a poor game one and a sensational game two. And all eyes on LeBron James. Let's see what happened here. Oh. It's like a little friendly fire there, Stu. Yeah, you know, a little bit of confusion, but listen, trying to make a hustle play here mm. on LeBron's part. Boy, right shoulder to the side of the yeah, face yeah. for LeBron. That was a shot. And, and what gets lost in that is, one, JaVale McGee with the effort to get that loose ball, and then with the great read there to get Clay on that handoff for the triple. Hmm. So LeBron's still down, uh, looking to be helped up at this point. Czar, uh, he somewhat famous or infamously quipped uh, you know, during the, the two-day break here. Do I look tired? I'm averaging a triple-double in the finals, so I'm pretty good. Your thoughts on, obviously, we're not talking about LeBron in terms of rest during the season and fatigue in that way, but in terms of running with the Warriors for 48 minutes, are you seeing some fatigue late in games for LeBron James? People don't understand what it's like to try and defend the Golden State Warriors. First, as soon as the ball changes hands, you have to sprint not run, not run hard. You have to go to the next level because that's how they run back uh, defense to offense. So they get those first two steps on you, this separation. They're a yard in front of you. Now you're trying to catch up. So that's the one thing that takes effort. Then they move you all the time uh, when you're back defending with their bodies and the ball. Then they wind up behind the three-point line. You've got to run out to the three-point line. So for LeBron, he's asked to do so much at the offensive end and then defensively, yeah, it takes its toll in the second half. I mean, yeah, to the, the fact, too. I mean, LeBron's guarding KD. Mm -hmm. That also takes a lot of energy out of you, aside from trying to get back in transition. And, and the fact remains, I mean, the pace that they've been playing at the first two games is way too high for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It takes a physical toll. Very little surprise, GA, that the invincible LeBron James would hop right back up, take it to the cup, and get an and one against JaVale. Yeah, and that was a, a little bit of a mental mistake, I thought, by Kevin Durant. I, I know you want to be aggressive defensively, but he's a little overextended. LeBron's not going to beat you from 40 feet. Then he gets beat off the dribble, push JaVale McGee in a tough spot there, and LeBron gets the and one. Off to another sensational start, 11 points on five of six with one more coming here, and it's no good. LeBron James in game one, eight of 12 from the line, in game two, four of five.
And Clay Thompson fouled here by J.R. Smith. So Clay will shoot free throws. And J.R. has a habit. He's done it over and over again, particularly in the playoffs. He's fouled a number of three point shooters. That time he fouls a potential jump shoot. Let's go back real quick. Ball's going to come in bounds right here to this fellow. Here's Clay Thompson down low. He's going to look like he's going across the floor to set a back pick on the man coming from out of bounds. But what happens is when he gets to that point, he himself now turns and doubles back and comes off the screen and watch what takes place as far as the Cavaliers go. Here comes the screen. Nope, I'm going to change direction. Confusion, switch out, just a step late, cost you a three-point shot. Another out-of-bounds play leading to a score. And as we resume action, Klay Thompson made both of those free throws off the J.R. Smith foul. We are tied at 21. Just over five to go in the first quarter, and another fadeaway shot from Kyrie Irving. Stu, are you okay with his shot selection so far? No, again, and I don't mean to harp on the same thing, but all of the shots, not just Kyrie, that are just coming off a one-on-one -on -one play where you're putting the ball on the deck and trying to rise up above the length of the Warriors, uh, you're going to shoot a low percentage. Clay Thompson has 16 already, GA. Are you feeling one of those vintage Clay Thompson eruptions <laughs> it, it, it right now? It really is starting to feel that way. He's been really good here early on. And that's always a positive sign when you're a road team. You want to have one of your guys step up. That's just a really tough shot by Kyrie Irving. And, and it kind of calms your group down. It gives you a chance. When you're the road team in a situation like this, you just want to stay connected. You just want to be in a position to kind of steal one and here early on, that's exactly what the Warriors are doing. Yeah, and they've weathered the storm here. I mean, on nights where Curry has it going and Thompson doesn't, you wonder whether or not Thompson's ever going to get it going. Tonight, with Thompson rolling the way he is, we know Steph Curry, who hasn't been as productive as usual, his time is coming sometime during the game. It's a bad sign for the, for the Cavs. Kevin Love split the double team, missed, and can he save it? He does, but into Iguodala. And is it just me or everything Iguodala turns to gold in the NBA Finals? Here's Curry on an awkward three, and the rebound is being wrestled for right there, and we have a jump ball, and that'll be LeBron James and JaVale McGee. And JaVale McGee has come in and, and given him some really good effort here. Fighting there on that backboard, going after that loose ball, not giving up on it, able to force that jump ball. That's the finals right there, Zar. Mm -hmm. You said it, it, the Cavs got to get on the floor. They got to get. They got to get, get dirty. Rebounds, the, get dirty. The, get the dirty on work. the floor. So you've got LeBron, one of the best dunkers and leapers in NBA history, against JaVale McGee, one of the springiest bigs in NBA history. This should be an interesting jump ball. Corver and Shumpert into the game here for Cleveland. And JaVale McGee wins it with relative ease. Golden State by four, just under four to go on the first. Clay a little step back on Corver and a rare miss. So the Cavs, here's the opportunity. We got to push the basketball, get a good shot. Here he takes somewhat of a questionable shot, three-point shot. I thought they were fortunate to make that one. Uh, they gave him a long two on that. They'll yeah, probably the review it. was on the line. Mm -hmm. Iguodala doesn't want three, driving on LeBron. And McGee had it stripped by LeBron. He said, give me that. LeBron oh, barrels to the cup boy. and flushes on Durant and McGee. I was expecting a huge night from LeBron tonight. He knows that he's 8-8 tied up with Magic Johnson for the most triple doubles. I felt he wanted to get one more record in his book, another triple double. Can we see that again? Yeah. Yes, right here, actually. Well, I think the one record he wants to get tonight is a win in that column to just get this group back into it and knowing that the rim protectors are there, ain't much to protect when the king is going with that type of force. Seemed like Durant was ready to guard LeBron for maybe a step back three and LeBron went to the cup and that's all she wrote on that play. 